Welcome back to the 8.5. Today, we are looking at the Silky Zubot 330 handsaw. Gonna do a quick review, show, it, show you how it cuts. Stay tuned and we'll tell you all about it. Now, I have been using this saw, and this saw has been well used for the last two months, so it's far from brand new. But I wanted to wait to do a review to make sure I gave you the right opinion on it. So this is the 330, and I believe... I'm not sure what the 7.5 is, but anyways, it's the Silky Zubot 330. So... 330 centimeters long and it has some awesome teeth it has an awesome curve to the edge that just helps so much when you're cutting so one of the things i really like about this saw before we even get into the saw itself it has a really nice sheath i know that sounds crazy but for when you're using stuff intermittently and and you and you want to have a good protective sheath this guy is a hard plastic sheath. It also has these locking pins in here that actually lock the saw down in. The other really nice part it is, is that it has a quick release from the belt buckle. So it's a nice, strong rubber belt buckle. And then it's a quick release. So if you're using the saw and you wanna take it off, boom. Out it goes over there into the snow which would technically be attached to your belt. And then that just simply clicks back on. And that's hanging on your belt. So you're getting into a vehicle, anything like that, and it's still on your hip. You can just simply pop it off, put it on the seat beside you. The other nice part is these retaining pieces right here it's a simple push of your thumb and out comes the saw so there's those retainers saw goes back in till it clicks and that keeps the saw from falling out of the case like you'd have to really It's not com it's not coming out really awesome that it doesn't just fall out of there so aside from that awesome case this is the true one there are ones with red handles and all that kind of stuff and it's silver on here this is made in japan it is a true silky saw and it is very very nice so let's get to doing some cutting so that you guys have a better idea of how well this saw works. So. Now I am pushing very lightly. I wanna say just the weight of the saw, but it's sideways. And this is effortlessly going through this tree. You can see just how clean of a cut that just made. Now, say for example, you're doing some limbing. So small branches, super easy to deal with. The cross cut, and I'm gonna give it a bit of effort this time. That's about, oh, I don't know, maybe a two and a quarter, two and a half inch log. And it's through. That's it. Super clean, super easy, super effortless. It's a little bit dead, but it was on the ground. Super clean. Less than 10, and that's about an inch and a half tree there. 
Super clean. So what would I say? I would spend the money. It is an expensive saw, but it stays sharp. I would recommend wearing gloves when you use it because I have cut myself already. And as you can see, not wearing gloves, haven't learned my lesson. S spend the money, buy a good tool, take care of it. It'll last you a long time. I would definitely recommend this saw. Well, I hope this review was helpful and I hope you get your hands on one of these so that you can enjoy cutting just that little bit much more. If you haven't already, I invite you to just subscribe to the channel. We have lots of outdoor stuff right now. We're digging a pond. Please leave a comment below of what more you want to see on the channel. We've got lots of stuff going on and make sure you hit the notification button because if you don't, you might miss out. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one.